Hey guys, it's the Clumsy Geek and welcome back to Offworld Trading Company. In the previous episode, we went through the third tutorial mission right here, making it work. And yeah, we made it work. This time, we'll proceed with better living through chemistry. And uh, this will feature the new meridians, which are the scientists of the game. So high tech, high tech, high tech faction. Let's proceed and have a look at what they can offer us. I think we already had a quick look at that in the previous tutorial, right? The, on the first episode. But let's see what we can do with advanced designs. Okay, Dr. Silas Crichton. What kinds of upgrades? Why can I see the whole map? Okay. I think I understand. As always, a lot of text and I'm not going to read through all of them just to speed things up. Okay, you can see that. This is a good concept right here. So this is how the, the game works. You can go and explore the map and the longer you explore the map, the cheaper it will be. Look, there will be no starting debt and you'll have increased stock price. The only thing is you have opponents right and your opponents can and will build a headquarters ahead of you if you take too much time that means they have a, a leeway they have an advantage with regard to building earlier so it's a balance between determining your starting bonus and building your headquarters early on so let's find our scientific hq near iron we have iron there we can click this this looks like a very good spot right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I found it. <laughs> okay, this one. We can build on top of this so we can get bonuses. I think this would do right there. So we got 20, 35 extra iron. The deposits disappeared though, but that means extra iron for us. That is a huge advantage in the beginning. Okay, we have a steel mill 2.0 because we can build steel mills directly on iron like so so instead of getting iron first oh we have a rival again this time the scavenger people are our enemies good luck with the work you too okay the steel mill steel mill <laughs> create steel from iron directly so cool so you don't need to mine metal and then convert it to steel it automatically does that in one step and that means one less building one less claim for us so let's build one more right uh, here and one metal mine on aluminum which is here it's a bit far it should be okay and let's speed the game up. I'm actually excited to show you guys how it looks in a real game because I myself don't have much experience with that. So we'll be learning together and we'll probably be derping together. <laughs> a quick source of fuel and oxygen. So this is the main, one of the main advantages of this scientific faction. Okay that we can create we can produce oxygen and fuel directly by building on top of water like so so we don't need to get water first and then convert it same way as we did for steel and uh, what do you call this steel and the mine okay build a glass kiln on silicon Where is it though? Where is the silicon? Wait a minute. Oh, it's so far away. <laughs> Crap. We should have built here maybe. Isn't there anything nearer? Okay, fine. That will be very hard for us. So you can see how it much how important it is to build a right to build your headquarters on the right location. As the real estate agents say, 
location, 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 right? <laughs> Just like real life. We are incurring a lot of debt though. We need to produce power soon. But the tutorial won't let us yet. Okay, there they go. Alright, making money is important as well. Power, fuel, and food. Can they be built on a water source? Okay. Doesn't so work so well with ice. So we don't have any ice structures. We can't melt ice. But that's the only disadvantage of this faction mainly. So let's upgrade the HQ. Let's build two power generators. What do you guys want? A solar panel or a, high, a wind turbine? I guess a wind turbine would be better for our location. And it would be more consistent. So let's build one here and one there. And then let's build a hydrolysis reactor on water. Where is that? This one. To produce oxygen and fuel. Right here. And a greenhouse farm on water. Okay, amazing. We don't have any land land claim tiles. Land claims left. But that should be okay. We should be upgrading soon. Alright, that's it. What are we working toward? Success. <laughs> Look at this. One carbon plus one fuel equals one. What do you call this? Chemical. Chemicals are very important for upgrades. So now let's do that. We have enough fuel. We don't have carbon though. So we need to upgrade our HQ first. We need to build a hydrolysis reactor on water again because it's uh, we would need a lot of fuel for the chemicals. And then let's build two chemical refineries on carbon. Ah, so this is nice. So we can directly build this on carbon. Other factions can do this. They have to mine carbon first. A new Martian day dawns. Let's see how this looks. Amazing. I remember Command and Conquer with how these buildings are built. You know the, the old school Command and Conquer games. So cool. Alright. We're going to build an optimization center. And then we have an option to mule as well. So we normally need land claims to build structures and mine resources. But there's an option to build a mule right here. Purchase mule. And that will secure water for us. So we don't need to create and waste a land claim for it. So let's maybe build that here. Yeah? So it's just, it's just going to be transporting like a contractor for transportation and logistics. Sounds fun. And now we got water. And it will keep on doing that, I think. Yeah. So now we should build an optimization center and put that right next to our base, right? Here. Pirates. I hate those filthy bandits. Oh crap. They are total jerk faces. <laughs> this is theft. What do we need the chemicals for exactly? Well, for upgrades. And these pirates are, if you look at them, they are shooting the transports. So these are placed on supply routes. And these hinder our chemical production. Crap. So what we need to do we need to upgrade our HQ and we need to optimize our chemicals production so instead of removing the pirates we're just going to produce more speed up the production of chemicals so we won't be affected that much which doesn't mm, maybe not the smartest thing to do right but uh, <laughs> it is one way of doing it because they say we won't stoop down to their level we won't sabotage them in turn principles okay that's good uh well that's not good we are losing food so we need to build greenhouse farms right here 
There we go. Okay, optimization increased by 25%. Perfect. And our mule is starting to get from there. Okay, that's good. This should be finished in a sec. There we go. So, are we going to strike back? No. We are going to take the higher ground on this. Okay. We have one more innovation. This is introducing more of those advanced facilities in what we call a patent lab. So patent labs are areas where you can do a research for very cool features and uh, bonuses for your base and you will have sole access to that technology like a real patent. Okay, we need to build a water pump. Maybe right there would be nice. Anywhere near? No. Okay, let's build there. And uh, we need to patent teleportation. So what they were saying was, um, there is a, they have pirates here, right? We have pirates, we have a pirate problem. But if we are able to learn teleportation, oh, come on. They used EMP on us. Crap. Ah, these bullies. But we're not going to be bothered. We just need to push through with the patent for teleportation. So look at this. We just need 80 chemicals for that and we have more than enough. So we can research that. And what will that do? What that will do is, normally we have transports here. When this is full, it's get, it gets transported. But when we finally research teleportation, we won't need any transports at all. Like everything, regardless of where you are, where your structure is, they will automatically be put in your stockpile. Super cool, right? So let's build a power generator. One more time. Uh, maybe a solar panel this time. And then let's optimize chemical productions one more time. Let's go full scientific tech here. Let's see where we are at, at the patent. 8 seconds, 6 seconds. Okay, look at this. You see that 34 over 60? Now it's gone. Because now we have teleportation. So cool, right? No more transports needed. That's perfect. And this guy here is almost built. Come on. I do not disappoint. There we go. Next step, upgrade HQ again. Now we need to patent thinking machines. Thinking machines, what does that do? Minus 50% sabotage damage for buildings one tile away from your HQ. So that's perfect because our enemies like to play it rough. And then we optimize electronics production now. And then we build two electronics factories. We're going all full tech here. Should be built on an input. Uh, it should be built on aluminum or carbon, I believe. Yeah. So let's build one here and there. Now what's nice here is because we have teleportation, we don't really need to worry about how far they are away from the base. Except for this initial part where we are building. But after that, moving the goods is instant. Just the way I like it. Okay, now we have thinking machines as well. So we shouldn't be that much impacted with the sabotage. And uh, by the way, the, the sabotage earlier, it was not EMP, it was a magnetic storm. I think that destroys like the supply vehicles. Okay, electronic non-production. Uh huh. The one downside to our advanced building designs that we can ignore. Okay, okay. Okay, I see. So this these buildings here, they require carbon and aluminum in order to function. Now we built them on top of silicon, so we do have silicon already, but we don't have any carbon or 
aluminum right here. So what we can do instead is activate auto supply. And as long as that means they can buy off what they need from the market and it will automatically buy as long as the price is cheap enough compared with what's being produced. So it's a smart auto buy system. There we go. That is where the market comes into play. So even though we don't have production of those materials, we can still, like carbon, right here, we can still produce electronics just fine. And it's done. Cool, right? <laughs> nice. Alright, great. So that's going to be it for this video, guys. Next, next video will be the last tutorial before we jump straight to the actual game okay so if you did like the video please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more updates now by the time this video comes out i'm not sure if the giveaway will still be there but hopefully it is and wish you luck wish everyone luck and hope you win so this is the clumsy geek signing off thanks for watching guys and have a nice day bye bye